Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex. We get lots of questions about the two grid EAs that we have available. The one is called the No Stop Hedged Grid System. And the other one is called the Grid Trend Multiplier. Now in this video, I'm going to try and explain the differences between these two grid trading systems. If you are seeing grid trading for the first time in this video and find it confusing, don't worry, you might have to watch the video a couple of times because grid trading is unconventional compared to other trading. In fact, you don't even need charts to do grid trading because it works off price levels. So let's have a look at what a grid is. Now on your screen, you'll see a grid drawn up. It's basically just lines or price levels with a gap between the price levels. So in this example, let's say the, the gap between the price levels is 100 pips. You would have one level and you'd have a gap and you'd have another level, have a gap of 100 and then another level. So that's basically what it is. So why do we use grids? Because grids provide the price levels at which we will transact. So it's basically random price levels where transactions will take place. So while the price is traveling between grid levels, no transactions take place. And as it reaches a, a grid level, transactions take place. And that's how we order the Forex trading when using a grid system. Okay, so let, let's start looking at the two systems in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's start looking at the no stop hedged grid system. Firstly, it's a sideways market type of system. It likes trading in sideways markets. It can trade in softly trending upward markets or softly trending downward markets, but it doesn't like fast trending markets. It is a directionless system. So it's ideal for the person who doesn't know which way the price is going to go. It will make profits whether the price goes up or down. It is a hedged system. There are no transactional stops. The only stops that there are are overall stops when the overall account reaches a certain level or a certain level of uh, loss. How does the system work? Basically, it opens a buy and a sell at each grid level. That's where the hedging comes in. It opens a buy and a sell at each level. At each grid level, it will also cash in or close the positive trades. This will make more sense as I show you an example. And it will leave the negative trades open. So as the price moves from one grid level to another, two, uh, two things happen. It will firstly close the positive trades and, when it re and it will also open a buy and a sell at that level. So it then keeps on trading until there's an overall profitability. In other words, if you add all the open trades and the closed trades together, if that answer is positive, it will stop trading and start a new grid. Don't worry if you're confused, it will soon make sense. As mentioned before, it is dangerous in a very strongly trending market. Okay, to give you an example of how the no stop hedged grid trading system works, let's have a look at the grid that I've previously shown. So this dark line here could be the entry level and let's say the price uh, goes up. So at the entry level, at the entry grid level, you would enter a buy and a sell. The price would go up to the next level. At the next level, firstly, the positive buy will be cashed in or closed. Secondly, a new buy and a new sell will be entered into. As mentioned previously, the system starts entering a buy and a sell. When the price moves up to the second level, uh, level, a buy and a sell is also entered into, but the positive buy that has occurred because of the movement is then cashed in. So I'm just going to change this to be only a sell because the buy has been cashed in. And, and let's assume this grid is a 100 pip grid. So we 100 pips up, but we have a negative sell at the bottom and uh, a break even buy and sell at the top. So let's take the example of the price then going down. And here's the example, the price then goes down. So what happens here 
is that the cell that's at the top here will be cached in positively. So I'm going to take that cell out because it has been cached in. And we now have a buy that's negative 100. Type that in. And we have a cell which is now break even. So the sell is break even because it's gone back to where it was and the buy is minus 100. But remember we have cashed in this leg and that leg. So we have cashed in 200 pips and we are sitting with minus 100 in the open deals. So this is where this is the point where the grid then cancels all the trades and starts again. It's made a 100 pip profit. In the description you'll find reference to a few more grid trading videos that will give you a lot more in more insight into how this method works but that is essentially how the no stop hedged grid trading system works it trades until profitable right so let's have a look at the grid trend multiplier and we'll look at the same seven points that we looked at earlier on this no stop hedged EA. The grid trend multiplier is more the trending EA, hence the name trend multiplier. It can make a lot of profit in a sideways market or even a market that is going against the trend that it's intending, but essentially it does best in a slowly, a slowly trending market in the direction that the trader has anticipated. It only trades in one direction. So the trader decides I'm going to buy and it will only enter buy transactions. Opposed to, remember the previous one, there was a sell and a buy. This one only opens buys in that particular direction. Also, no, no transactional stops are used except an overall account-based stop. So if the account balance goes to a certain level, the trader could stop all the transactions. So at each grid level, the EA or the system would cash in the positive trade and open another trade in the direction of the, the trend that the trader has identified. Pretty simple, cashes in the positive and opens another trade in the direction of the trend. The trader should stop the process when it appears that the trend is over. This technique is dangerous if the price starts trending against the direction that the trader has anticipated. So if the trader has anticipated a buy trend and obviously a, sell, a strong sell trend develops, that, that is where uh, this technique is dangerous because the losses of the open trades compound. So let's have a look at the trading example. Let's assume that the trader is anticipating a buy trend. The trader would open a trade at the beginning. It will only be a buy trade. And let's in this example assume that the price has gone up to the next level. What happens at that level, the buy has now gone positive, it gets cashed in, and a new buy is entered to at that particular level. As in the previous example, let's assume that the price goes down to the start point again. So what happens then is that the, uh, the technique opens a buy at the start level again, and the buy that's open on at the first level is still open and is running at a minus 100. Now let's assume that the price moves in the way shown on the chart. The price has gone up, gone down, gone up, up down up and what would have happened is that that buy would have been cashed in because it was been positive that buy would have been cashed in because it went positive that one would be cashed in and that buy would be cashed in so you would have cashed in four buys and you would have an open buy for the next price movement whether it's going to go up or down we don't know but you'll you'll have an open buy there which is obviously at zero but you would have cashed in one two three four times and that's where the multiplier effect comes in the price has in fact only moved 
200 pips in the direction that the traders intended, but he's cashed in four times, and hence the name the grid trend multiplier it's multiplying the benefits that you get out of your trend so that's how this ea works and again i will reference uh, some more videos where you can look at this tra uh, trading technique in a little bit more detail as i said earlier if you find this a little bit confusing please re-watch this video a couple of times and also watch the videos that I will leave in the description of this video a number of times. This should give you a good idea how the two grit trading techniques work. They are quite different. One likes a sideways market, the other one likes a trending market in the direction that of the trend. Please record your comments and questions in the YouTube comment section or on the comment section on the webpage where this video appears. From me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.